Veronica here. I hope everyone is having a lovely day wherever they are in the world. Today, we're going to be unboxing the stunning special edition Splatoon 3 OLED Nintendo Switch. I'm so unbelievably excited to be unboxing this stunning bright, beautiful Nintendo Switch for you guys. I've been dying to get my hands on this specific Switch ever since it was released back in 2022. Now the glorious thing about the OLED Nintendo Switch is you get to play all your favorite Nintendo games when you're on the go, on your couch, in your bed, on an airplane, which is so awesome and convenient. Now, personally, I would never want a gaming console that I couldn't dock, which is actually why I sadly sold my Nintendo Switch Lite about a year ago. I know, I know, it's so sad. FYI, you guys, a couple months ago, I released on my YouTube channel my unboxing of the limited edition OLED Steam Deck. And I'll link that down in the description box below for you guys. If you're interested, go check that out. Now, lastly, let us all know in the comment section down below, what is your favorite special edition Nintendo Switch console that Nintendo ever came out with? And what would be your dream Nintendo Switch console for the Nintendo Switch 2? Now, personally, I would love to see a Kirby dedicated Nintendo Switch 2. Kirby completely, totally deserves his own Nintendo Switch. Before we get started, you guys, please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and ring that notification bell so that you are notified of every time I upload a video here on my channel and every time I do a cozy live stream. All right, you guys, let's get this beauty unboxed. Just from this beautiful, gorgeous box alone, I can so appreciate the detailed work that they put into this packaging. Like, I remember when I unboxed the Valve OLED Steam Deck and it just came in this very boring brown box, if anyone's ever ordered one. <laughs> Obviously, Nintendo has way more money for like really intricate, beautiful packaging, thank goodness, and I sincerely appreciate it. Now, this box is so beautiful, I'm gonna have to save it. I I'm not gonna be able to throw this box away. And whenever I unbox a gaming console or even a makeup product, I just have such a genuine appreciation for packaging. Is anyone else in the same boat? Does anyone have a genuine appreciation for packaging? Or am I just all alone on an island by myself? <laughs> All right, you guys, for the big reveal. You ready? I feel like a kid on like Christmas morning every time I unbox the gaming console. I just hope I don't drop it. That would be really embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're so pretty. Oh, honey. Let's take out these beautiful joy cones. Oh my gosh. These, I believe, are my favorite Joy-Cons of all time. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. These are so freaking pretty. Mm. This is why I wanted this Switch for these Joy-Cons. The suction cups on the back. By far the most eye-catching thing about this limited edition Nintendo Switch is these bright neon Joy-Cons. I am totally obsessed with these. With the left Joy-Con, you have the gradient blue going into the purple. Oh my God, so cool. And then with the right Joy-Con, you have the gradient neon yellow going into the neon green. How wicked cool is that? We'll go into the dock here in a second when I unbox that. These are so, just the Joy-Cons themselves are so artistically creative. They're just so happy. And you can absolutely tell that the designers put a lot of time and effort into this specific Switch 
especially these Joy-Cons. You can definitely call me a gaming console collector, which I am. Let me know if y'all be interested in a YouTube video where I share my gaming console collection. I think that would be a lot of fun for me to create that for you guys. In the box, we have the body of the Switch. Oh my gosh, the design on the back is so cool. You won't be able to see much of it here, I don't think but it looks like the graffiti on the back is just so, so very cool. Such beautiful attention to detail. All right, so next in the box, we have some cables, some more cables. Well, no, actually your charger and an HDMI cable. And we have these for the Joy-Cons, the usual Joy-Con. Holder. I actually never use these, which is kind of funny. I, I should probably give them away or something, but I never use these. Look at these. That's fun. The neon yellow. Then we have the blue. Now for the part that I'm really looking forward to is the docking station. You ready? Oh. Yay! Oh my gosh, it looks so cool! <gasps> Look! Wow, that is so neat. But look at the paint splatter, that's awesome! I absolutely love this white docking station with these graffiti details in the bright neon splatastic design. I just love it. Yeah, and you guys, you get an HDMI cable, which is awesome to have. So you can hook up your docking station to your TV. And we have a charging cable, which is also super important to have. Yay. Let's attach these Joy-Cons to this switch. I love that sound where it clicks into place. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh my gosh. That looks so cool. This specific switch, you guys, is truly a piece of artwork and why I wanted to buy it and display it in my collection and obviously game on it too. But it truly makes my heart so happy just looking at the cheerful, bright, and neon colors and the stunning design of this limited edition switch. I truly appreciate every facet of its design. Now, don't get me wrong, you guys. I am super pumped for the release of the Nintendo Switch 2 hopefully at the end of this year, the beginning of next year, crossing my fingers, but there will always be a special place in my heart for the OLED and OG Nintendo Switches. I absolutely adore everything about this console. All the special edition, neat designs that Nintendo has come out with over the last several years. And FYI, you guys, I know this console isn't available in retailers right now, but I've gone online and you actually can find a fair amount of the Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switches in either lightly used or new in box NIB condition on sites like GameStop, Mercari, and eBay. You still can get your hands on one if you want one. If you do go that route, just be careful when you're purchasing from resellers. You know, double check how long the seller has been on the site like eBay or Mercari check the reviews, read the reviews to make sure there's some really good reviews. And also if a deal sounds too good to be true, it most likely is. So if you have a new in box Splatoon 3 Switch for sale for like $50, I would stay clear away from something like that. Just be vigilant and be careful when you're shopping online, when you're purchasing expensive items like gaming consoles from resellers. Now I will say I absolutely adore this specific Nintendo Switch. Obviously I needed it in my collection. It wasn't a want, it was a need. <laughs> And, but I of course adore my pastel Animal Crossing Nintendo OG Nintendo Switch. I just love her so much and she will always be special to me and I will never get rid of her. But this is so 
incredible. This is like up there with my Animal Crossing Switch for sure. All right, you guys, I'm gonna dive into some tech specs of this OLED Nintendo Switch. Now, in terms of tech specs for the OLED Nintendo Switch, we have the gorgeous seven inch OLED display compared to the 6.2 inch display that was on the OG Nintendo Switch compared to the 6.2 inch display that was on the base switch. Now, fun fact, you guys, OLED stands for organic light emitting diode. The OLED display will give you a more immersive gaming experience with brighter brights and blacker blacks and faster motion. For example, when playing games like Zelda Breath of the Wild or Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, it's definitely a more immersive gaming experience on the OLED Nintendo Switch versus the base Switch. Now I will say I have both the base Nintendo Switch, my Animal Crossing Switch, and I have an OLED Nintendo Switch, and I game on both of them. And I love both of them, and I use both of them, but I will say the OLED display does make a huge difference. Oh my gosh, the Star Wars theme song just popped into my head. Next, in terms of tech specs, the Nintendo Switch OLED is actually a little bit heavier than the base Switch, the OLED model weighing 14.9 ounces opposed to 14.1 ounces. I've never had a problem holding either one of these Nintendo Switches for over a long period of time. I don't really notice that much of a difference in terms of weight. Now the OLED Nintendo Switch also features a custom NVIDIA Tegra chipset. It has four gigabits of RAM and 64 gigabits of flash storage, which is a bit more than the base Nintendo Switch, which just has 32 gigabits of flash storage. Now for both of my Nintendo Switches, the OLED Switch and the base Switch, I purchased and installed a 512 gigabit SanDisk memory card for both of them because I purchase and play a ton of games. So if you find you're running out of storage on your Nintendo Switch, I highly recommend getting an SD card for it. And I'll link the one that I use down below. Now the OLED Nintendo Switch has a max resolution of 720p when played in handheld mode and 1080p when docked, in addition to a max frame rate of 60 FPS. This totally does the job for most games that I play. I personally don't have many complaints, but it will be nice to see a higher frame rate and a better max resolution in the Nintendo Switch 2. And crossing my fingers, the Nintendo Switch 2 offers 4K resolution and 120 FPS instead of just 60 FPS. But we'll have to wait and see what Nintendo comes out with. The OLED Nintendo Switch also comes with a USB-C port, a 2.5 mm audio jack, an HDMI port for when docked, and a wired LAN port for TV mode when docked as well. Also comes with improved speakers from that of the OG Nintendo Switch, in addition to a very wide adjustable stand, which is really convenient when you're playing in tabletop mode. And just so you guys can see that, the wide adjustable stand runs all the way, like basically half of the back, and you just pop it out like that, you can game in tabletop mode. And the OLED Nintendo Switch has a very responsive touchscreen, so it's really convenient when you need or want to use it. Lastly, the battery life can run you anywhere between 4.5 and 9 hours of gameplay, and I personally never had a problem. And let us all know in the comments down below, you guys, what tech specs you would like to see in the Nintendo Switch 2. For me, it's definitely 4K resolution. That is a must. Next, we're gonna briefly talk about the OLED Nintendo Switch setup. Now, the setup is fairly easy and it's more lengthy than that of the OLED Steam Deck, but it's definitely doable and easy enough to do. In order to set up your OLED Nintendo Switch after you turn it on for the first time, you'll have to do some things like select your language, your region, accept the end user license agreement, connect to your Wi-Fi, select your time zone, and you can either create a new user or import your user data from another console. Then you can link your Nintendo account, which gives you access to the Nintendo eShop, 
online play. It gives you the ability to connect to your friends. You also have the ability to transfer games from one Nintendo console to another. Personally, I'm a little bit of a weirdo. I just have specific games that I play on each one of my consoles. Like Coffee Talk, I play strictly on my Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch and I just do it that way. <laughs> I am a massive diehard fan of the Nintendo Switch, including the base Switch and the OLED Nintendo Switch, and both will always hold a very special place in my heart. Even whenever the Nintendo Switch 2 comes out, I know for a fact that I'm not gonna abandon my base Switch or my OLED Switches. I'm not gonna throw them in a box to gather dust for the next 30 years. I will continue to play games that I love so much on them and I will put them to good use and they will look beautiful on display in my gaming console collection. I know for a fact I'll be using and loving them for years to come. I'm gonna love having the Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch on display. I just love it so much. It's like a piece of art. Just like my Animal Crossing Switch to me is like a piece of art. My Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Switch is like a piece of art. But especially this Splatoon 3 Switch. She's just so bright cheerful and happy to look at. And so much thought and effort was clearly put into the design on the Joy-Cons, on the back of the Switch, on the back of the Joy-Cons, on the docking station, from the gradient effect on the front of the Joy-Cons to the suction cup details on the back of the Joy-Cons, the graffiti on the white dock, the neon yellow splatastic paint splatter is so cool. It's truly one of my favorite Nintendo Switches that Nintendo has ever come out with. I truly can't say enough good things about the Ola Nintendo Switch. I definitely think it's still relevant and if you're interested in getting one, I know you'll have hours upon hours of fun on it. Definitely let us all know in the comment section down below what you think about the Splatoon 3 Nintendo Switch design. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you have it? Do you want to get it? Let us all know. Oh, honey! Honey is coaching! Oh! Oh! Are you okay? Okay, we're just gonna like pretend like that didn't happen. Now, if you'd like to see my epic limited edition OLED Steam Deck unboxing video, then click this video here. I truly hope y'all have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and I will catch you in my next video.